Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at these 10 watt gaming speakers. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to them in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I was pretty happy when these were sent to me because I've been kind of looking for a small pair of powered speakers. I've had some computer speakers in the past that had some little cubes and a big subwoofer and there it was just a rat's nest of wires. And I've long since gotten rid of those. But sometimes it's nice to just have a little power speaker set. So let's take a look at the features here. It says SP60 gaming speakers, one knob volume control for on, off, volume, up, down. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So this will take up the headphone jack in your computer, but then it has one on here if you actually want to plug headphones in. It says touch controlled RGB backlight, five LED modes, RGB, on, off, red, yellow, blue, or green. So here are the specs. It says input is DC five volts at 2.2 amps. Power is five watts by two. Speaker unit impedance is four ohms. Frequency response is 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz. So this isn't going to have the low, low bass. Signal to noise ratio is 85 dB. The plug is 3.5 millimeter audio jack. The audio cord is 63 inches or 1.6 meters long. The net weight is 990 grams. Product size is 90 by 120 by 190 millimeters. So here are the main features and we've covered most of these on the other panels. So let's open these up. Okay, so here are the speakers. We have the knob on the left, maybe. Not sure which side is which. Like that might be the right channel. So here's the back. There's a port back here. These are permanently wired. So if these were to wear out, you can't easily just put other wires on. So I'm just pointing that out. For most people, you're gonna put this somewhere and you're not gonna move these around and that'll be fine. But if you were say, planning on carrying these lots of places and you're hard on stuff, then that might be an issue. I tend to not be hard on things. I tend to take pretty good care of stuff. So there's the wire between the two speakers and then we have the audio and the USB power. So I'll plug the USB power into my power supply here and it says zero, let's turn it on. Okay, so it seems to take zero unless we turn it on. So then we have the headphone jack. Now this is split in a way that it looks like I could pull this apart. Yeah, you can pull this apart if you need this to have more separation because you know this is only you know, about 20 centimeters apart. So that easily splits. So I guess we can look at the instructions here. That mostly just has what's on the outside of the box. So, okay, so I have some music on my iPad here. I will plug this in. I'll start playing one of these. So I have about 75% of my volume there. I'll turn this on. Okay, so the music is coming out. Turn this up a little more. Okay, so those sound pretty nice. As it said on the box, it doesn't have the low lows on here, so some of the bass wasn't coming through, but it sounded very clean otherwise. So I'm going to adjust the camera here a little bit. I'm gonna play some of that again here, and I want to see what my amp draw is. So it looks like we got 0.35 amps here. So I think you could power these from a computer USB port, especially if you have a higher powered port, but that's well within the USB specs anyway. Although different tracks might take more energy. Like if a track had more bass, let me find a bass track here. So that track had more bass and it took 0.43 amps. So let's try the backlight here. Okay, so we have RGB mode. I'll press it again, we have it off. We have red, yellow, blue, green, and RGB again. Then I think I can double tap to turn it off. 
So I have a number of Bluetooth speakers, but they can be inconvenient to use with a computer because you just want something that's plugged in. I don't want to have to charge it up all the time. And you have zero latency or interference when you have a plugged in speaker. One application I wanted some small speakers like this before is for my little projector. So if I want to set this projector up in the backyard, I can set it up and now I can use these speakers for the audio for the projector because the projector doesn't have great audio on it. And this projector and many of them like it also have a USB port in here. So I think I can actually power it from the projector. If I'm having problems, I'll just have a USB brick nearby that I can plug in, but I think that will work. Otherwise you can plug this into the back of a computer. Many monitors will have headphone ports on them. So I have monitors that take HDMI and it will output the audio from that HDMI to a headphone cable. So you can plug these into that port. You can use these for your audio. And then if you do want to use a headphone, you can plug in down here instead of reaching around to the back of your computer or backside of your monitor. So those are the SP60 10 watt gaming speakers. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.